marijuana you should be legal, while 48% do not, 3% still say they don't know. Voters are going to go to the polls this November and decide that issue. Republican Senate candidate Rand Paul is backing out of his planned appearance on NBC's Meet the Press tomorrow. Paul's cancellation caps a bad week for the GOP following a tough round of primary races, which seem to have pushed the party off message. Joining us now, Erin McPike, political reporter at the National Journal. I'm glad you're here. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Let's go to Pennsylvania first, where you look at in the House race there that everyone was watching, and the Democrat Mark Christ easily beat out the Republican challenger, but this was to fill John Murtha's House seat. Um, it, interesting, though, it's the same district where John McCain won in 2008. What's your read on the logic behind all this? We, it, it's going to be difficult for Republicans to take over the House, but it was always going to be difficult, and Republicans have just allowed expectations to spiral out of control. So I think at this point, they're going to start lowering those expectations mm -hmm. because it's it's just going to be difficult. And Democrats have been better at running campaigns recently. But they just have been. And so at this point, we need to see Republicans put some wins on the board, and they just haven't been able to do that yet. I'm, I'm curious, I'm trying to get behind the logic of, of John McCain winning that particular area in the election, and yet this was Democrat John Murtha's seat. An aide to him was the one who's subsequently elected. I mean, do you think that speaks more about Democratic Party beliefs or of John Murtha, who was a fixture in the community for so many years, and maybe that got and spilled voters, over? Voters did think that Critz could, could deliver more for the district, but the thing you have to realize it was a very tight district as it was, and there was this Democratic primary going on that was very competitive and drawing a lot more Democratic mm. voters to the polls. Mm. Now, a lot of the Democratic Voter primary turnout. Senate voters did, there were about 12,000 of those voters actually then voted for the Republican candidate, but mm. also our inspector used to be a Republican, so there's a little bit of a dicey Thing going on there. Interesting state, and you bring up our inspector because Congressman Gose, who judge Joe Sestak, is one that beat him. Um, would the Republicans be in a better position in the fall? Do you think they will be with, with Sestak? Or? It's hard to say because Specter is obviously more moderate than Joe Sestak was, and so some of those moderate voters could then go to Pat Toomey, even though he is very conservative. But Joe Sestak is more liberal. But that's one of the untold stories of these mm. primaries from Tuesday: is that in a lot of those primary races, the more liberal Democrats one. So these independents are going to be up for grabs, and we don't know which way they could go, Boy, but we've yeah. got on the extremes on exactly. both sides. Exactly. It looks like you're widening the gap there. That's so right. we're due independents. Sometimes it's more obvious. It doesn't appear to be, as you're aptly saying here. What about Kentucky? Rand Paul being nominated Tea Party guy over the GOP establishment there. What's that tell you? Well, so right now, Rand Paul has gotten off message, and the Republicans are going to try and control him a little bit more. But here's the thing about that. Right now, we talk about canned politicians all the time. And the very thing behind this Tea Party movement is that they're normal citizens. And Rand Paul, though he has a father who is a congressman who has Rand run Paul, for president, right. Rand Paul is is more normal, let's say, and less of your usual politician. Doctor. Absolutely. Yep. And so the fact that he's been a little bit all over the place makes him more real and makes him more of a real person, which is what this movement is about. So yeah, he's not going to be very disciplined. We'll see how that turns out. Maybe we need canned politicians. Who knows? Well, it, was, it was a tough week for him, so maybe they're going to try to keep him a little bit better on message. And again, he's canceled out of his appearance on NBC's Meet the Press That's tomorrow, right. although I think David Gregory's still trying to get at him. So at go some David, point. see if he can do it. Um, okay, thanks so much, Aaron McPike. We appreciate that with the National Journal. Thank you. For more of the latest political headlines, check out our website, firstread.msnbc.com. It is the place for politics. In Bakersfield, California, high water levels are causing some trouble for some little ducklings there. Apparently they keep getting separated from their mama because of the higher than usual water flows from a nearby canal. So visitors have been flocking to the park to try and keep the newborn ducklings from drowning. Even a local pool cleaning business is allowing people to use their skimmers to save the ducklings and then reunite them with their mother. That's nice. Maybe you want to replant a forest. Maybe you want to rebuild homes for those in need. Or maybe you want to help improve our schools. Whatever you want to do, Members Project from American Express can help you take the first step. Vote, volunteer, or donate for the causes you believe in at membersproject.com. Take charge of making a difference. When you start with simple ingredients, like 100% whole grain, the way Triscuit does, you always end up with something delicious. 
interesting. 